to if you're looking to know what you can do to build a business on hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about the top five mistakes that new online marketers make so that you can avoid them obviously that's the reason we want you to avoid these mistakes they're they're the most common things that online marketers do when they first get started mistakes I made definitely in the beginning and that I've learned from and lots of the people that I actually coach and I help they're making these mistakes too and it's just it's just common and it's not your fault right you are learning so we'll get into these five top mistakes the top five mistakes in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so the top five mistakes obviously there's more mistakes that anybody can make we can always always make mistakes and the thing you have to remember is that mistakes are not failure mistakes are learning experiences so I just had to get that in there and before we get into the actual five top mistakes that new online marketers make let's talk a little bit about if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video or you're going to go to a cis 394.jsgagnon.com do go check out the video and the blog post because I will be sharing my screen I will be showing you uh more than you can hear obviously and let's get right to that right now I'm just going to go right here I'm going to start sharing my screen so first I want to show you something that I've done a long time ago it's called it, it was an ebook I did I think it's what 2019 it says right there so like three years ago in the first couple of years of me starting out I actually created this ebook which is the top 10 simple online strategies I'm not this is not why I, I'm not talking about that too to get you to get it but obviously you could still go look at it it's still all very relevant but the thing is that these are the top these were things that I learned that most marketers were forgetting to do right but I kind of created little videos right little five minute videos at the time I was doing daily five minute videos now I'm doing you know weekly 30 or so minute videos so this all this is could be in one video probably right obviously five times ten is well it's, I guess it's 50 minutes so it's longer but still this kind of talks about the main things you need to be doing as an online marketer kind of some of the some of it are mistakes right that people are making so you kind of have to if you're looking to know what you can do to build a business online this is definitely something that you should be looking at that you should be uh focusing on these top these these 10 things right but the top five things that you need to be doing is a little different if we look at the ebook I created I mean it was it was an ebook that talked about all these different things right making your profile making your post public don't you don't post company choose a single strategy brand your name all these things right are important and this ebook kind of goes through these these things right so anyways whatever that's beside the point let's go to the actual top five mistakes to avoid what are the top five mistakes that you need to avoid if you're new right if you're even if you're not new because I know that some of these mistakes I made you know after six months a year even two years into my online journey so these are things that aren't necessarily mistakes that new marketers make but it's just mistakes that online marketers we make all the time or that we forget about and we actually make these mistakes so let's just go right to mistake number one so I'm going to bring it up here to the top of the list number one they think their idea is for everyone and this is this is very very common right I mean you're whatever you have to sell your opportunity your product anything like that you're well, of course you think it's for everyone and you're probably right that it is for everyone and it can benefit everyone and anyone and the thing is that as an online marketer you have to remember that even if it is for everyone even if it could be for everyone you should not be marketing it to everyone so 
let's just put that in here it, it may be for everyone right but you shouldn't shouldn't market whoops market to everyone right so that's the thing so maybe your your product your uh, your 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 opportunity your service your whatever it is it might be for everyone and, and you know everybody could benefit from it but you can't market to everyone it's not possible to market for everyone <clears throat> so you shouldn't be trying to do that right so you have to and this is this is this is where you can you know improve right you gotta go out there and find out who well you gotta decide I should say you should you need well let's just say you must decide who you will market to all right you must decide and when I say you must decide it's not like you gotta find out you gotta go discover you gotta go you just decide it you make a decision you make that decision that you're gonna market to whatever it doesn't matter who it is right uh, well maybe you don't realize that it doesn't matter who it is because the purpose of marketing is to focus on somebody or someone or some general some well I shouldn't say general I should say specific some specific market some specific uh and that's why they call it an avatar right so so define your avatar define the whoops define your your avatar right so you got to define your avatar so what does that mean I, we talk I talk about this and lots of other things but basically your avatar is the definition of your perfect customer right so the perfect customer that you want to market to is a specific specific person that doesn't mean that you're only going to sell to that one person in the world right it just means that you're defining them so that your message can be clear for anybody who's like them or close to them right and that's why it's important to define your avatar so so you even though like I said even though your product or your service it can be could be for everyone when you're marketing online if you try to market to everybody if you try to say you know this this can be for you this can be for you uh this is for uh, you know well whatever if you say anything if you're trying to your message is going to be all over the place so most nobody is going to feel that they're connected to your message it's going to be for the other person right no, so nobody's going to pay attention to it nobody's going to click through nobody's going to fill out forms nobody's going to do anything because they're not the one you're talking to so they're like wow that's not for me it's for somebody else that's why it's important to have a specific message a specific avatar so define your avatar and create so create content for that avatar right it's super 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 important all right so that's you know you gotta have that specific thing you gotta be specific in your message right okay so number two what's number two let's bring number two up right number two is it's coming it's on the way there you go don't enable so this is the number two mistake right you don't enable public comments or posts that's one thing I see all the time you know when I'm looking at I probably should have opened that up before but let me see do I have it open no I don't if I go to uh, my if I go to my tool that I'm using to 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 find people right so I mean basically these people here when I when I scroll through and I try to find people to talk to what they they're people that I engage with right I visited 21 of them and I see these I see these po these profiles all the time see this one here I can't comment on this profile this this one has no recent posts this well not English that's fine but I can't comment on this one I can't comment on this one so I see these people that are posting they're trying to sell something but their their posts aren't public so let's just kind of show you what I mean so I'm um, sorry to pick on you Tara here I'm just going to open that in a new tab so I mean when I go to Tara's profile right I can see that she's posting things right um but I guess this one here is I guess I this one here is public uh this one here is not right it's just let's just share this one here well, I guess I'm maybe I miss misread this one but yeah so yeah see there you go share share I can't I can comment on this one I guess some of them I can but some of them I I can't even oh, this is probably not a good example let me go to another one here uh this one here maybe Timothy so Timothy again sorry for uh, not, not picking on you but you know when I look at this when I look at his posts see I can I can engage I can react right to the post 
I can react to the post but I can't actually comment on them so if they're trying to sell something and this is one of the things actually I should go I know there's one that I sent the message to so can't comment and uh which one did I send the message to is there anyone here this one is I guess it's Jacqueline 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 there we go let's open that okay that's another one sorry Jacqueline I don't want me to be picking on you but you're an example of you know somebody who's actually so this this person here Jacqueline she's actually promoting something right she's talking about being an entrepreneur here she's got this free productivity toolkit right comment below for a free copy but I can't comment right and over here she's posting a free uh a, a live there's no way for me to comment right says right clear limited who can comment on this post to apply this setting right uh, but the thing is that they, this this is a mistake that online marketers make which is they don't realize it because Facebook is by default all private all based on who uh can see your stuff is just your friends so you gotta en enable the um, so this is okay let's go back to the notes here so I mean they don't enable so so number one so you need to must enable public posts okay so that's one thing that most I see most of them are doing that they're enabled well some of them aren't uh that's when I see when I go to here right I can see actually some of these so no posts like this grace over here if I open up her profile I probably there's probably nothing see there's no posts so you know cover photos got updated right that's because cover photos are public by default but that means that either this either grace is not posting anything or whatever she's posting is just for friends so that means that I can't see it right so you got to make sure you enable public posts so number two um you got to make sure that oh <laughs> I'm hearing some noise I was like what is that I was gonna but it's just the vacuum the robot robot vacuum is going around yeah anyways so you must enable public posts right but the other thing you got to do which most people forget even when they do enable that is you have to um enable public comments in your privacy settings all right so you got to do that you got to enable public comments in your privacy settings if you don't enable public comments you're not gonna uh, people that aren't your friends aren't gonna be able to comment on your post right and some some will tell me well I don't want to do that I'm gonna get a bunch of spam and this and that whatever well the thing is that yes you will get some like random weird people commenting you know uh can you send me a friend request because you know I'm sorry to invade your privacy on your post uh, can you send me a friend request I couldn't I couldn't send you one right the, or people saying hey go over here to buy this or go talk to this person they're really good at money management you know all those spams you, yeah you'll get those but you know what those even those will increase your engagement but the thing is that if nobody can comment on your posts nobody's going to comment on them every time somebody comments on your post it grows the engagement of that post or their reach I should say their reach which means more people will see it and then they can they might in, comment on it right so that's kind of how it works so you got to enable public comments in your privacy settings um that's well that's all I'll say about that okay so number three what's number three number three we have uh -huh, what's number three they talk about their product or company so that's one of the big things that you have to avoid now I, I don't have examples because I but the thing is that it's like I'll go to somebody's profile right they'll have public posts enabled they'll have public comments enabled and they'll be posting but what they post about is their products they they're posting about how awesome their product is how awesome their company is how awesome their 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 opportunity is how much money uh, their friends are making this and that all about their product their opportunity so don't do that don't do that why 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 don't you do that so you know instead talk about talk about the result whoops talk about the results the results right talk about post post about your life in uh family or or your um passions right so post those things not not your product or company and there's a couple of reasons for that 
um, you might be thinking well why not right I want people to know that this is what I'm promoting I want people to know that I mean whenever I go to a store I see what they're promoting they they have these displays and they have ads on tv and whatever right I see that why can't I do that and I'm not saying you can't I'm saying if you do that it's going to have a negative impact on your ability to build a business on social media why not why is that going to be a problem well you know the companies that promote their products like coke or walmart or 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 you know uh, gillette or whatever they spend millions on ads on social media right but even then they're uh, they actually don't do it the way you you don't realize but they're not posting about their products they're posting about what their products gives people right even though they have their name brand and everything but they're still spending millions you can't do that well maybe maybe you can <laughs> but you probably can't most people can't so what you got to do is why why you can't do that is a couple of reasons first anybody who sees that you're always promoting your product or your company and that's all you do it won't take long before they just you know block you or unfriend you or don't want to hear about you or whatever right that's just nature we don't want to be sold anything we want to go out and get something that we like from somebody we like right so that's why you got to be posting about your yourself about your life about your because so that people get to know and like you right there's a whole no like trust thing right that's another thing that I talk about all the time so you know that's one thing the number number the second reason is because you don't want people to know what you're offering and then they go and search for it and if they decide that they like it they want it they're probably going to go buy it from somebody that looks more successful than you that isn't new that isn't you know fumbling or whatever somebody who's been there they maybe they, they've they're there maybe they're spending millions on ads right whatever that's the reason that's the other reason well I mean and plus you know if they don't like it they'll see a whole bunch of negative things about your product negative things about your company because you know that's how it works online you get like 90 percent negativity right and 10 percent positive right so even if they don't find all those negative things repulsive to them they'll probably find somebody else who has better you know better uh, results than you do right so that's why you don't talk about your product your company those those two main reasons right the two main reasons is so two main let's just put that here so two main reasons so number a is they don't want to be sold and b they will look up look up look it up look it up and find someone else someone someone else or say no right so they'll either find someone else or they'll just say no to whatever you have because they're like well this is no good they see all these negative things right so that's why you don't want to talk about your product or your company so whenever you're looking at you know somebody else's stuff make sure that you don't you'll notice that you'll notice that now that I've told you right other people posting about their product and company and stuff you're going to be like oh yeah that's yeah I agree all right so that's a number three now number four what's number four number four let's go see what number four is it's coming coming they assume a single connection is enough so now that's that's another thing right as a new marketer you are probably thinking oh my god everybody's online they just all I'm just gonna send them a message or I'm gonna or they're gonna comment on one of my posts or they're gonna you know send me a friend request and that's it if that that's that's all I gotta do if they're actually going to buy from me or they're actually that's they would and I don't need to bug them or anything right now I'm not saying that you should be bugging people but what I'm saying is that one connection is not enough so why you need so you need seven to ten connections before they'll they'll consider your product right so you need seven to ten connections now, now what do I mean by connections so connections can be either messages which I'm not saying you should be sending them ten messages that's awful right but they do count as connections okay uh also seeing your face in their notifications so what are let's just say what are connections 
what are connections right what are connections connections are a uh a pro, a a message a message sent to them okay so limit this limit this okay <laughs> b what else is it b the other thing is it could be is a uh a notification a notice your well I guess your face in their notifications notifications right whoops <laughs> with an o let's do that over here notifications right so your face in their notifications so if you're like say for example you know commenting on their posts or reacting on their posts uh or even sharing their posts you're going to show up in their notifications right you're going to be in their notification like if I look at this face these Facebook I look at my Facebook looks it's 20 I got thousands of notifications right because I do this engagement all the time I'm posting on so all these faces I see here for me these are people that I I've engaged on they engage back on me but I they see my face in their notifications because I'm engaged and this is what I use right this tool here over here you see how many uh these are numbers right here that say how many reactions whoops let's close that how many reactions and things like that and if I look at I can actually sort by this the first number is the number of visits how, how many times I've actually visited them on their profile see how this one's 16 12 10 so this shows me how many times I've visited their profile but also how many comments and so every time I comment on their post this tool records it for me and everything but that allows them to see me right that allows them to see me so my face is in their notification so that's what you need to be doing you need to be seen by them okay uh and then of course uh so you know you're facing the notifications or I guess we could say your your name in their post comments right so I mean if you're posting if, if you're commenting on their posts they're going to see you there so if they see you often enough then you can have a conversation with them right so that's your connection the more you can connect the more they can see you in their notifications in their posts in their profile right the more likely they are to get to feel that they know you so they know you and they probably like you because you're engaging on their stuff right you're not just you know saying heart or heads up or whatever you're actually commenting on their posts you're actually making meaningful comments on their posts that means they'll like you right and they're much likely to trust you so you got to make sure you don't assume that a single connection is enough all right so that's number four so now let's go to number five the last of the top five let's just do that let's go back let's scroll it's coming it's we're almost there there you go they don't give it enough time so that's another big mistake that all online marketers do in the beginning they they assume it's going to take like a month to be a millionaire right I know um okay maybe not a month but it's you you know I know I mean I remember I remember when I first started I saw all these you know these videos talking about how these other leaders were able to make money in their first 90 days or their first whatever and I was like oh my god that's gonna be me I'm gonna be able to do that and I'm not saying it's not possible but the thing is that believing that it is possible is one thing and then just quitting because it didn't happen is another thing that you don't want to be doing you don't want to quit because you're not getting the results you want right away right so you have to make sure that you learn from anything that isn't working and you got to keep going so so keep going keep going even if you didn't get the results you wanted in the sh well you want yeah even if you didn't get the results you wanted right so I mean if you if you assume that it's going to take you two months to achieve a certain result right and after two months you haven't gotten that result don't quit keep going L look at why you didn't get the results try to understand right learn from your mistakes instead learn from your mistakes and try something else now that's okay so that's 
that's be careful right you don't want to just jump from one thing to the other that's not the point uh whoops not mistake mistakes and try something else until well if if there is if there is no uh, if there is zero results right so if there's zero results right if there's zero results my I'm actually put that down if there's zero results right so only if there's zero results if otherwise keep going if there are if you have results but less than wanted keep going and figure out how to to grow those results right so I mean instead of quitting instead of saying you know what that's not working I'm just going to throw it out I don't care I don't need this it's not working it's not for me all those kinds of words right just keep going I mean I've been doing online marketing for five well more than five years now since 2015 right and I don't have the results that I want I don't have the results that I thought I would get there's lots of reasons for that but I'm still I'm still learning lots I'm still able to sh teach some of the things that I've learned right that help that I've grown from and I can do that because I never quit because I haven't quit I'm I'm still going I'm do, I'm just I'm just ex, ex, you know what's the word I'm um oh I <laughs> I'm interpreting no I'm investigating no I'm um I'm 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 trying I'm trying to understand or I forget anyways a scientific word right to try to figure out what you did and I'm improving with other things I'm anyways whatever that's what you got to do too you can't just give it you know you can't say I'm going to give this two months or I'm going to give this six months and that's it that's you giving yourself a specific amount of time for for results and and you telling yourself that you're not going to keep going if that result doesn't happen is a recipe for set for failure you're definitely not going to achieve those results it's a guaranteed I guarantee you and if there's if there's any guarantees in online marketing this is one this is one of the guarantees I guarantee you that if you give yourself a timeline for a result and you tell yourself that you will quit if it doesn't get you those results in that time I guarantee you that you will not get those results and you might be thinking well why why is why why not because that's how the brain works if you're thinking about quitting and not and it's going to happen that's how it's going to be so you instead you have to be positive in your thoughts in your message in your way of thinking right you got to be looking at what if it all works out that's what you got to do if it all works out I'm going to do this and be positive and then you know that's one of the things about online marketing it's like anything else it's 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 a lot to do with your belief right your belief in it if you believe that you'll succeed then there's a there's a 99 percent chance that you're going to succeed if you believe you'll fail there's a 99 percent chance you'll fail right and that's just standard mind how the mind works how we think just that's just how it is if you believe in one thing chances are that's what's going to happen right so just don't just give it don't don't give yourself a time frame just say you know what I'm going to go until this until the success comes and I'm going to take the actions I'm supposed to and this is going to happen right so like I said if you want to get this uh, ebook you can go ahead I still have the ebook out here you go to masterofsimple.com do I even have it here I don't have it here but so masterofsimple.com right I'll just let's just do that see right up here masterofsimple.com <coughs> so let's just actually take that and put it in here so ebook 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 whoops from 20 it's actually 2018 I think so top 10 simple online whoops online strategies that actually attract 
attract customers to you so now I'm not you know this is what this is something from a few years back and the reason I'm bringing it up is just so you can kind of get an idea of how other marketers are doing things and the, and how you don't need to be perfect you don't like I mean I did this a while ago I got lots of leads from that I got lots of people that are, that follow me now just because you know because I was brave enough to put this together and to do this and this is an example of something that you can do too right so that's uh that's uh that's what the and the other thing too is that uh, tool so active group users tool so that's at active well it's just it's actually activegroupusers.com I'll just put it like this whoops activegroupusers.com so activegroupusers.com that's a tool where you can get like this tool here that I was showing you right in the, right here right which kind of gives you a list of people to engage with now how does it find that list anyways I have a whole bunch of other training on on that but basically let's you see the posts and the comments that people have and you can kind of engage on their stuff and um yeah so that's kind of what that is let's move that over here yeah so that's uh yeah so those are the two things I kind of talked about but the thing is to remember is that you have to remember don't make these mistakes the top five mistakes to avoid right you don't think that your idea is for everyone right don't make sure to enable public posts public posts and comments make sure that you don't talk about your product or company at least not most of the time you there's there's a rule 80 20 rule that they talk about where you can post a little bit but don't be all about your product don't assume a single connection is enough remember you got to have seven to ten connections before somebody even considers you as somebody to talk to they and don't and give it enough time right just give it time it takes time to build an online business all right so hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.